start of day three. Uh, we slept in this outside mall, I think. Which just opened. Well, it opened at like... I think it, it opens in like an hour or so, but... And now it's like 5.30. People started delivering goods at around 4 a.m. And uh, that scared us a little bit, woke us up. And then all of a sudden we were surrounded by people delivering delicious grapes. That's where we slept last night on those tables there. My mom slept on that table. And uh, yeah, got woken up at foot. Like there was heavy, heavy rain all night. So I'm so thankful that we actually found something with cover. Um, they have this plastic roofing in here, which really amplified the sound. So it was, it was quite relaxing to actually sleep here. Except for, you know, the stress of constantly worrying about people coming in and out. Like we kept hearing cars because there's like a parking lot outside. There's some pretty nice toilets as well. So people use them to, you know, just stop for the night and go use the bathroom. So we were a little freaked out because people kept running in and out. Um, but yeah, the plan today is, well, we covered 30 kilometers yesterday by foot. Uh, and 10 of those was up a mountain. Uh, our feet, our backs were destroyed yesterday. I think we're going to take it a little bit easier today. Uh, catch a train to Matsuyama. See if we can find an onsen or something. Maybe even sleep inside today. I guess we'll see if we can make that happen. But this is a pretty cool place. I think some of the people that do the pilgrimage, like the full pilgrimage, actually, I think a few of them actually sleep here. The, the mall attendants quite large they apologized to me for waking me up early uh, that's that's totally cool we had a place to sleep all night so I'm good with that but yeah I mean it's pretty pretty sweet place so we'll make our way from here in a little bit after we have breakfast I think and then onwards to Matsuyama we're thinking maybe only walk 10 kilometers today just to spare ourselves a little bit. <laughs> but sleeping situation, much better today compared to yesterday. Especially with those like rugs, sleeping pads that we got, that made, that made a big difference. Also in terms of temperature, that was pretty good. I don't know what we were expecting to not bring any sleeping pads to begin with, but yeah, <laughs> now we have some. There's a river down there. So we'll go check that out in a bit and then be on our way. Just wanted to show you Uchiko. Mountains on both sides. We slept right by the river. Obviously we also slept right by the road, but it's just a phenomenally beautiful place, especially here in the morning so peaceful I mean right here all you can all you can really hear is my voice and and then just the river in the background oh wow my two traveling companions but yeah I think we're gonna go in here in a little bit just to see explore the area see what we can find um, might take some pictures because it's I mean the light is amazing it's the first time we've seen the Sun since we started this and the sky is beautiful the light is amazing so <laughs> it's actually just so nice that it's dry that it's not raining um, all of our stuff is like it's like damp it's not wet but it's just it's kind of cold and I uh, just uh, it puts a dampener on, on things a little bit, so having light out now, maybe some heat from the sun to dry out our clothes, that's going to be really nice. Good 
getting close to Uchiko Station now, and yeah, we'll take the train to Matsuyama. It's like an hour from here, and uh, I'm just excited that the sun is out, honestly. It makes such a big difference to your mood, to <laughs> your outlook on life. Uh, it's, it's very different like this. Nope. Hej, det er også mega varmt nu. Ja, det er dejligt. Jeg har taget et lag af. Der mangler flere. Ej, jeg er søde. Jeg har også shorts i nogle. Jeg ved ikke, hvor godt det er at smære den der mormorstik hernede. Det er ikke en bus hele vejen rundt. Behind the scenes, hiking through Shikoku. This is our drying rack. All our wet socks and wet clothes from yesterday's rainy weather sitting in a random park near Matsuyama station. It was so nice taking a train for once. We saved nine hours of walking. We did that in 20 minutes by train. So I think we're gonna head further north, northeast. See if we can find the Dogo Onsen, which is supposed to be pretty famous up here. And maybe see if we can find some lodging and pay for, for a roof over our heads tonight. 
and not sleep outside for once. So let's see if we can find that. But I'm really excited about the door wounds and because it looks really cool. I just good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. No yeah. What? Are they going to eat? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you have a hand to eat? Mm. Okay, it's done. Mm. 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 KFC, og det er nogle gange svært at bestille bord. Mm. Det er juletraditionen. Mm. Og tyrestekkylling. Mm. Oh, oh. Hvad er inden? Hvad er deres egen? Jeg har det ikke. Jeg tror ikke, jeg har jul. Nej. Mm. Jeg ved det ikke. Okay. Jeg har meget intens sådan der. Ja. Finder vi det? Bare ligge i sådan en sandslag. I mange dage. Jeg har sådan en hel testikker i min mund nu. Jeg er så sulten, at jeg slet ikke. Jeg spiser alt meget. Ej, det går helt under på tungen. Hvad var der på den der? Jeg ved det ikke. Men det er meget mærkeligt, at man får meget sukker var der inde. 12,6 gram. Jeg føler, at jeg er helt allergisk over på den der. Nå. Åh, for satan. Det var en skilsom. Det er en lille bid. For satan, min tunge. Skal du så på din tunge? Ja. Du kan da neutralisere det med noget banan. Du er blå og blå. Jeg er blå? Han er blå, det. Jeg tror ikke. Men du har spist en lille smøl før og sådan noget. Mine høretelefoner, de får røde på det ene øre. Måske det er fra min rygsæk, hvad jeg har sortnet. Så mit savl har opløst farven i rygsækken og farvet mig her. Hun savler vildt meget, når hun sover. Ja. Det er meget sødt. Det er sådan... Og så nu så vækker hun sig selv. Mm. Sådan med savlen og sådan... <laughs> du har virkelig skåret et par på gøjne, ikke? <laughs> ja. <laughs> jeg har aldrig så mange tunge og hævet. <laughs> Hvad har I spist dog? Det er den her andesbyd. Wow. Ej, hvor er det hyggeligt. Matti, jeg må... Og svanerne. A random park in Matsuyama. En år. Der er sgu et slot. Der skal vi op. Vi er hættet op der. Shortly. Så planen for i dag er... en mere kvart dag. Vi er hættet op nord. Like north part of Matsuyama, where they actually have housing, and we'll try to see if we can get something booked. Hopefully, we'll be able to leave our backpacks and you know just have like some unweighted hikes. There's some really cool hikes around Matsuyama, some really beautiful mountains as well, and I think that's what we're gonna try and aim for today as well as the Dogo Onsen which is... I'm really excited about Dogo Onsen um, It's supposed to be... Like, it was a really famous Onsen place here, I mean in Japan, in Matsuyama and I think it's been the inspiration for something like the Onsen in Spirited Away as well which is, which is super cool 
I love Spirited Away. Spirited Away is one of my favorite Ghibli films of all time. So I'm, I mean, I'm really, I'm just really excited to experience that. And it's been years since I went to like a traditional uh, natural onsen. There's there's plenty of onsen around Japan that are heated up, but this one is, I think it's supposed to be natural, and it's all wooden and. I think that bathhouse was built in 18, 1860s, maybe 1820s, something like that. I'm not, not entirely sure on, on, on those numbers, but very traditional onsen. And I mean, there's lots of onsen in this city, as well as I think five temples. And it's funny, it's the, it's the third day of us being out and for starting the pilgrimage uh, we have actually haven't gone to a temple yet because we started in in Yawatahama Yawatahama is like in between uh, like right in between so temples above and temple below uh, Yawatahama but nothing there so we haven't really gotten a chance to I guess start but we like we're making our own pilgrimage as we as we do this I guess and so far it's been pretty cool you know just being able to pick and choose where we want to go there's also a like another 300 or so meter tall mountain uh, just outside of Matsuyama it's kind of like the same height as we did yesterday probably a little more traffic up there compared to where was that I can't remember this like kind of sleep that we get is not very conducive to uh, a good memory I suppose but anyway yeah there's supposed to be a really cool hike up that mountain so we're gonna try and do that as well and see if I can get some really cool footage um, some of the footage that I shot this morning by the river um, was I mean it was beautiful it's just the sunset and there's like fishermen in in the river just fishing as well it's so cool being able to experience it's not untouched nature of course but that kind of nature where nature just does what nature does and the river flows the fish are there and you're just kind of like it's like you're watching a movie and nature just unfolds right in front of you and the more that we trek I guess around Shikoku the more we actually experience more nature around the country which is amazing damn I also know um, which is even if you live in Fukuoka you still have to go quite a bit outside the city to actually experience and obviously here we're still traveling but Shikoku has a lot of really cool nature it seems so I'm just really excited to explore more